Welcome back to Storytime. We have more dog books for you, but first we are going to start with our five ice cream cones. So we have five ice cream cones. So good to eat. The first one said, I'm a summer treat. The second one said, it's such a hot day. And the third one said, I'm melting away. The fourth one said, don't lose your top. And the fifth one said, oh no, ker plop. And it fell upside down, good job. And we're gonna count our ice cream cones. We have one, two, three, four, and five. Good job. All right. Our first book today is the very, very, very long dog. This is Bartleby. Well, his bottom anyway. Where's his front? Bartleby is a very, very, very long sausage dog who's lucky enough to live in this beautiful old bookstore. There's his front and there's his home. Every day, Bartleby eats breakfast whilst reading his favorite books. Then his special friends take him for a morning walk around town. Bartleby loves his home, his walks, and his friends. Life couldn't be any better. Look how happy he is. Except Bartleby is so long, he's not always quite sure where his bottom is. His walks started out great. Oh, oh no. Just wonder what happens on his walks. But unfortunately, they didn't always end so well. His friends tried their best to help clean up the mess. And Bartleby, he had no idea. Day after day, they carefully trotted across Main Street. But his blundering back end caused a calamity. Oh, Bartleby. He's so long, he's making a mess. They cautiously took a diversion around the construction site. But his bungling behind created even more chaos. What do they say? Oh, Bartleby. He's making a mess. One day, Bartleby's reckless rear made so much mayhem that not even his friends could fix it this time. And they say, oh, Bartleby, he's making a mess. Bartleby heard yelling and shouting and he turned back to investigate. He would get to the bottom of this and find the culprit. He doesn't even know it's him. <gasps> oh, he's growling. He doesn't know that that's his butt. Poor Bartleby realized that it was his very own bottom that has caused all the crashing and bashing, making everyone unhappy. He ran all the way home and he was so sad he didn't even read his favorite bedtime story. 
He's still ate his dinner. He vowed never to leave the bookstore again. Oh, he's sad. Do you think his friends will be able to help him find a way that he can leave the bookstore again? Bartleby's friends were heartbroken to see him so sad. They loved him just the way he was. They rummaged through all the bookshelves book searching for answers. They concocted a most marvelous plan that just may, might make Bartleby feel better. They created a very special gift. A gift for Bartleby to help himself. What kind of gift is he going to get? Every day, Bartleby still eats his breakfast whilst reading his favorite books. His special friends take him for morning walks around town. Now it's his long vehicle, but now Bartleby is absolutely sure where his bottom is. Oh, Bartleby. All right, let's give a clap for our very, very, very long dog. And we are going to do our two butterflies. So everybody put your two butterflies out in front. We're going to hide them. We have two little butterflies sitting on a hill. One named Jack and one named Jill. Fly away, Jack. Fly away, Jill. Come back, Jack. Come back, Jill. Good job. We're going to do it again. Ready? Hide your butterflies. Two little butterflies sitting on a hill. One named Jack and one named Jill. Fly away, Jack. Fly away, Jill. Come back, Jack. Come back, Jill. Good job. And next we're gonna do soft and loud. So you know that means we have to be really, really quiet when we say soft and loud when we say loud. So hide your butterflies. We have two little butterflies sitting on a cloud. One name soft, one name loud. Fly away soft, fly away loud, come back soft, come back loud. Good job. Ready? We're going to do it again. Hide your butterflies. Two little butterflies sitting on a cloud, one name soft and one name loud. Fly away soft, fly away loud, come back soft, come back loud. Good job. Thank you for joining me for story time, and I'll see you tomorrow for more books about dogs. Bye.